Welcome, I am Daniel Lowry, an edutainer here at IT Pro TV. We're here to discuss the uh, Cybersecure Coder Overview Series. I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. I have been in IT for over 20 years. I have an extensive background in cybersecurity with certifications in that area. I've also worked as a systems administrator and a network administrator for corporate America. I had a lot of good times doing that. Justin, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Justin Dennison. I've been in development and IT and technology for a little over eight years and uh, well, I'm going to be the subject matter expert for Cybersecure Coder. Um, hopefully they give you all the goodness. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so Justin, can you tell us a little bit about this course, basically who should be watching this course and uh, what's in it? What kind of problems does it solve for us? So there's a couple of things that you can get from this course. Number one, you can get a certification, right? It's a validation that, hey, I know these things. I, I kind of understand these things. The second thing that you can get is knowledge about how to approach development, software development, and the process is therein in a security-minded way, right? Okay, I'm not just doing it well, craziness. I'm actually going to approach my design, my implementation, my testing, my deployment, my maintenance in a way that helps keep security going. And well, that way people like Daniel aren't necessarily gonna get their foot in the door and uh, make things go horribly wrong. Awesome, now this is a certification-based exam. You do get a lot of great um, information that's practical as well, but we are working toward a certification. Can you tell us a little bit about that CERT? So the CERT is the CERT Nexus Cyber Secure Coder Examination CSC 110. That's a mouthful. Yeah, that is a mouthful. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we will not say that a whole lot, but the, the certification is just gonna test you on kind of your general thought processes around secure development. And uh, well, what does that look like when you go to get that certification? Well, you're gonna sit for an exam at your nearest Pearson Test Center, right? Pearson View. Uh, typically, if you've had any type of IT training, you're gonna be at a Pearson Center at some point. Not necessarily all the time, but at some point. You're gonna have 80 questions that consist of multiple choice, multiple response, or true false and you have 120 minutes, including five minutes for candidate agreement and five minutes for the Pearson View tutorial. So let's say you get 110, you get what, about a minute, thir minute 30 per question. Should be good to go, right? And as always, make sure you use appropriate testing strategies where you go, don't know it next, right? And then come back to those later on. And passing score is a 56 out of 80 or a 70%. 70 above means you passed, 70 and below, not so much. Now, as far as the certification goes, how are you gonna split this up? We have several domains, and those domains are developing secure code, implementing common protections, testing and software security, security and software, which includes design, kind of thought processes around that, and then handling vulnerabilities, right? And making a distinction between vulnerabilities and exploits. So that's kind of uh, the certification in a nutshell. Awesome, that sounds uh, really exciting. I can't wait to get into this thing and see the methodologies and, and ways in which they're gonna show us that as we develop applications and we can start seeing these things more security focused and security minded. Uh, any thoughts on that when it comes to you? Uh, well, I'm excited because I know that when I was a young developer, security was completely out of my mind. I was like, whatever, just make it work. But it can cost you a lot of money as a business, as an individual if you don't try to make these uh, these security things better, right? I don't have appropriate testing design, thought process in action, and well, I'm excited to help convey that to you so you can get better at your craft, get better at your job. I'm not guaranteeing a raise, but it would be nice, but you never know, right? If you're better, then hopefully you can demand more, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, good points, all of them. That being said, hopefully you're excited about this course, and we look forward to seeing you in the upcoming episodes.